All right, actually, it's uh, good afternoon. Hi, everybody. It's me again. Uh, today is, what is today? Today's the 15th. Oh, Friday. January 15th, Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. And it is the afternoon. I had some stuff to do this morning uh, with Dave's Island, uh, getting his... Like I've been working on the live show this week, as I've been talking about, or the live live show setup at the shop, and we have all the gear, and we have it set up. Now it's time to wind it up and make sure we have it in a good spot, but everything is working. I just got off with Dave and John and Susan um, on Ecamm to do our tech test, and everything's working well. It's pretty awesome. I'm excited. Um... I, I just love this tech stuff and when it works and um, what I like about Apple I know I'll, there's like I've become an Apple head basically and what I love about it is just plug and play we had we got the Mac M1 all I needed to do is get all the cords that I needed um, to c hook up the camera uh, the display um, and the audio and it had to go across the room so like we had it all set up and it's really cool I'll, I'll show you guys the setup because and actually I'm, I might even price it out because to see how much it actually everything was um, Dave did have a budget and I I know I kept it below that budget which is like super cool so I will I will yeah I'll probably do a little thing on the setup because I'm gonna do again on my setup so it'll be pretty fun but I'm excited January uh, January 15th it's Friday um, this weekend we have a live show um, that I'm getting ready for today so I'm gonna be busy setting up the scenes for this program which is Ecamm and I'll do that today so um, let's see beautiful day hot weather let me look. Let me look at the current temperature is, oh, it's 90 degrees actually. Let me show you guys, this is pretty crazy. I just figured out how to do my screen. Oh, minus, I will, let me, let me show you my, let's see if I have a screen. Guess one, I guess two, Ricky, Connor. I had a camera set up. All right, let me do it this way. Plus, no, not like that. Minus, let me give you this. We'll go square, and we'll go iPhone. <laughs> there it is. I forgot I could do this. It's 90 degrees today. Look at that weather. Oh, wait. Yeah, 90 degrees. Man, look at the weather. Like, it's going to be, that's so funny. Supposed to be warm this week, but it's 90 degrees right now. Yesterday was like super cold. Weird weather. Awesome. Let's see. And let me look at Facebook. I want to go over some birthdays. I keep forgetting to do that every day. But let's see. Birthdays, birthdays, birthdays. Ha! Ah, Brian Barnett, old Air Force buddy of mine. Brian Barnett, that's his birthday. Marcus Reeves, oh my god, another Air Force buddy. He used to be my roommate when I was up north. <laughs> so funny. Daryl Evans, all right. Daryl, my skateboarder buddy. And Antonio Rucker, oh my gosh. Another friend, he was a friend from high school, friends, friend, friend of friend, and he's actually a comedian. I wonder if he's still doing comedian stuff. I haven't talked to any of these guys in a long time, but... It's kind of cool to look at your Facebook stuff and see your friends. They're still rocking. Uh, we make so many friends over a lifetime. It's pretty weird. How do you keep in touch with them? And that's what Facebook's for, I guess. Instagram, whatever. MySpace. Uh, Parlor. Oh, they're going out of business. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, what is today? What's happening in politics today? Because that's been the hot subject. I try to keep away from it, but... Um, yesterday, I guess, uh, or the other day, Trump got impeached again. Crazy. I think I talked a little bit about that, but weird. 
Um, yesterday we had a good meeting. I already talked about it because I did my vlog afterwards, but we have some good stuff. Um, just working with Dave. Actually, you know, just lately. Dave's the bomb. Dave's the bomb. Um, we have a really good working relationship, um, and we have good talks and stuff like that. And uh, what I find is in business, uh, that's key to have good partners. And if if you guys have good communication and good ideas and can talk those through, man, business just rocks. And right now we're in the thick of it, and I'm loving where Dave's Island is going because we're, we're just having, honestly, we're just having fun. We all love what we do, and uh, I believe it shows in our business because once that happens, it just makes everything fun. It's kind of cool. Um, I keep on getting confused on the days. I don't know if you look back, like I was looking back on my vlogs. It's kind of funny. I keep on saying the wrong days, but today is vlog nine. It is January 15th. It is Friday, and next Monday is going to be 10, so I'm going to celebrate my 10, 10 vlog on the way to going for a whole year. We'll see how many, what the number is going to be at the end of the year. Uh, uh, <laughs> yesterday was funny because I was watching back and I got the, I got, I got the, uh, monitor and it was like real time delivery. It was so funny because I was like talking about it and I go, I was waiting for a delivery and it happened during the vlog and I was looking at my reaction. I was just funny. I was like a kid in a candy store. I think that's how we all look like, Oh, our delivery's here. <laughs> It's the new quarantine excitement of the day. You get a delivery from Amazon or wherever you're ordering stuff from. It's pretty fun. Uh, let's see. After that, uh, once I got the monitor, I went to the shop and I was testing out stuff and I got that tested. And I was like, I was so amazed. Apple is so awesome. Everything is so plug and play. Like normally, like if you do something like that, like nothing works, like for some reason. And we just got the Mac. We just, I just got the cords and I hooked up everything and it just worked. I was just like, wow, this is so awesome. I love the plug and play. Um, I just did a, like, just set, like, I went this morning, I went to Dave's and we needed one more USB cord because to hook up the audio. And I hooked that up. Dave came and I set up the camera. And then I came back and then hooked up to Ecamm and everything worked. It was just, it was amazing. Usually like stuff like that, you'll have like one problem, but I don't know. I, I love when just stuff works. <laughs> and Apple is really good at that. And that's why I love using them. It's kind of cool. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, right down there. I got the most of the live show set up. It worked first try. One more, yeah, and then one more cable. I did get that. Um, and and did have some great talks with Dave today. Uh, it was funny. We did a live show yesterday, or a live show from Facebook. He was surprising me with a gift. And we're we're looking at like merch and stuff for Dave's Island because people have been asking for it. And, and, and he was like, "I'm gonna give you a surprise present." And it was funny. I got. We have been talking about like a beanie, and uh, and that's what he gave me was a beanie. You can watch the Facebook live, but it was it was hilarious. I like I've been wanting a beanie, and we have all and Dave got a DIY beanie. It was cool. <laughs> now I'm a gangster, gangster at DIY DIY gangster beanies. <laughs> ah, so fun. We're having too much fun. Um. Uh, this week on the vlog, it's been pretty interesting. Um, I keep talking about like the benefits of you know doing something every day, and the vlog actually, whew, it's help. It's totally it's helping a lot. Like sitting here talking by yourself to the camera already is weird, and what to talk about is kind of, you know, what am I what am I talking about and. I just go back to my goal. This the goal of this vlog is to better myself, share information, and be very introspective about your life, especially this year, because I'm turning 50. And um, you know, coming up to the 10-day mark, 
you know, and, and what's happened this week is like, I'm constantly adjusting to what I'm talking about. Um, one thing is I'm writing every day and it's like almost a general journal. That's what I was, you know, kind of at the end of the day, I look at what happened that day and it helps me. It's like super cool. And then, um, just keeping me on track on like reading books and, you know, um, just keeping track of life in general. It's weird. It's weird to have that information because sometimes like, I don't know if you do this, like, um, like you're thinking back, like, oh, I need to remember something. And, and then you're like, God, I wish I can remember that day. And right now I can do that. I can just go back on YouTube and go, oh, what happened that day? And look at it and just go, oh my God, yeah, that happened. It's just like, a, it's like place markers in my life. Like when you're editing, it's funny, like on the ed- on Final Cut, you, you have like a big line and it's a time frame of your 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 actual whatever movie you're actually trying to make. And then they have markers where you can mark if you want to look at that time frame or you want to you want to mark that spot like that's important. And basically that's it's kind of funny that's what I'm doing. I'm leaving markers in my life. <laughs> pretty funny I like it I like it and and to be introspective it actually really wow it makes you think about what you're thinking about because we don't we don't think about what we're thinking about we run on subconscious it's weird but to be consciously aware of what you're thinking is pretty gnarly so it's helping me out a lot helping me out a lot it's like it's pretty awesome but Friday today what am I doing today actually it's almost kind of a free day we're chilling I got my most of my work done today um I, I know we still have to work on the website right Carrie yeah yeah she is she's she's on it um I have to set up the scenes for ecam today um I might enjoy this Friday because it's a nice day it looks like a good skate day so maybe if I get a chance I'll go skating um what else am I doing? I have to set up the e cam for tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah, just where, oh, I need to clean out something today. We'll see. I'll, hopefully I'll get to that. It's kind of, everything's like piling up right now. So I'm like, whoa, I need to get on, get on some stuff. Um, what else was I going to do today? I'm trying to think. Drink ice lattes. Actually, Carrie's going crazy on this stuff. What is the coffee today we are using? Uh, we're using Divalia. Oh, she made an iced coffee. Am I like our favorite coffee? Let me grab it. Grab it. I'm grabbing it. Is this one? Gavalia. Or how do you say it? I don't know. Javalia? Is it G-Valia? I believe so. I believe so, but... Ooh. If you guys like coffee, this is really good. I don't know, this is like our everyday game. It's a little bit more expensive, but... You know, it, we used to do Starbucks, but actually this is way, 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 way better. Pretty awesome. And then, here, I'll give you some more coffee. Boom, boom. Sometimes it's cheaper than Starbucks. Sometimes it's cheaper? Yeah. And... We got these. What do you think about these ones, Carrie? They're okay. They're okay. Um, we were trying out new coffees, and I think we got these from a Target, but and we wanted another dark roast, intelligent. So it's okay. It has like a little tang to it. I don't know. It's pretty good. I did we did I drink this as coffee, or did we do it as espresso? But we tried that one. It was okay. That was alright. Um, still, Javali is better. I say, and then we have espresso. We got some espresso. So Carrie's been making those lattes in the new espresso maker, which is cool. And then, da da da. Actually, you should see the espresso maker. I don't think I ever showed it. Carrie's old school. We got the Italian shiny. Nice. But I can't wait for the day where she starts making a. putting designs in the foam because she got like a steamer. She's all into it. 
And if you guys didn't know, she used to work at Starbucks. Pretty funny. Ah, but yeah, that's my coffee pick for today. We love Gavalia. You can try these, but I think the Gavalia is better. So I think everybody has different tastes. So it's up to you. So that's my coffee thing of the day. Um, yesterday I didn't do this, but what I learned, actually, what did I learn this week? What did I learn yesterday? What did I learn? Ba, ba, ba. I learned that Apple is, is, Apple is awesome the way they have it set up for all you techies. Um, you know, I know there's a big war between PC and Mac. I used to be, I Honestly, I used to be like the PC guy. I think it was because of the gaming and stuff like that. Um, but what I, as I got into business, um, Apple actually works a lot. They, I have heard this saying like Apple is for drivers and uh, PC is for mechanics. <laughs> if you want something that you can just get in and drive and it just works, that's Apple. If you want something that you can update and adjust and all that other stuff that's pc um but what i love about apple is just like i was talking about earlier it was just plug and play it just works and you're like yeah and it just it, it just works it's kind of cool and everything's smooth and you know now with the new mac m1s oh my gosh i can't it, it totally changes everything carrie has her new macbook air that's it's the lowest lowest entry level it's the entry level mac and it's faster than my macbook which was the top of the line at the time it was i think i spent 3500 on it carrie got her macbook air for un like a thousand dollars and it's it's way faster than my computer <laughs> that's pretty crazy uh, just to think about that it's like gnarly but anyways, I that if you're a geek, you you, you can kind of understand, or if you know computers, you can kind of understand what I'm thinking about. But I it, it changes everything. Honestly, it totally changes everything. I think right people don't realize what what's just happened on the technology because everything's gonna be faster, and you like with the MacBook Air, you have the power to do everything that I was doing where you needed a fast fast computer now you can do it with the entry level computer which is cool so future is bright future is definitely bright that's what i learned this week but um uh, yeah um i did have some quotes the other day but i forgot to do it oh yeah i did that quote did i find another one let's look at quotes actually i think i found one like your music no I guess I have to go back to this one let me go back to this one quote of the day quote of the day read 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 Oh, oh. Ooh, here's a good one. <laughs> <coughs> Since I talk about music a lot, you know, music is, I keep saying it, it has changed my life completely. I think it makes you smarter too. It helps you with your, like, instead of thinking about the same thing over and over again, it keeps your brain moving. It keeps those, uh, I don't even know what you call them, the synapses or whatever, whatever they call those things. You know, it keeps them firing. And making new connections in your brains makes you quicker, I think. And right now, since I'm getting older, we, we definitely need that, I believe. And, yeah, I ever since I started playing music, it's helped me with my memory. <laughs> I remember, I remember, I, I, like, I can, because you have to know the songs and, you know, stuff like that, it just... It conditions your brain. I think music is like the, the workout for the brain or whatever. But actually in this book, uh, this is a quote, Sound Medicine. 
and and he has cool quotes. These are the quotes I've been using lately. But uh, let's listen to this. Uh, this is a wow Sufi musician. I don't know what that is. It's spelled S U F I Sufi musician. Let me see what that is. Let me look it up. Sufi. I don't even know what that is. That probably has to do with yoga or something. Sufi. Oops. Sufi musician. Yeah. Who is a Sufi singer? Oh. Devotional music. Sufi. Oh, it's an Indian musician. Singer. That's cool. All right, healer and mystic. Sufi musician, healer and mystic, Hazrat Inyat Khan. And this is his quote. Um, A person doesn't hear sound only through the ears. (laughs) He hears sound through every pore of his body and it permeates his entire being. I think we know this. Uh, Working with the handpan, I've been talking about this a lot. It is how music hits you. And I think uh, about like the handpan, you know, talking to the last customers, last couple customers, I always had, I always had a conversation about how the frequencies hit your, hit your body. And then when you're playing the handpan, like you can throw the frequency at people and they'll feel it like tingles going through their body. And it usually hits, a, like, when I feel it, it usually, yeah, it just goes through. Like, you feel chills throughout your whole body. You can feel the frequency. And what they're saying there is that we don't only listen with our ears. And maybe, maybe people, sometimes that people, this is my theory, I guess. Maybe people, if they only listen through the ears, they don't hear the whole music. <clears throat> And then we have to tune ourselves to hear the frequencies going through our bodies. Maybe. I don't know. But, um, yeah, when you do hear music and it wants to make you dance, that's that frequency that's moving your body through your entire body. Um, you know, I growing up, I, I used to, like in high school, break dancing was big at the time. We had... And then like disco dancing where they used to have like RoboCop and, you know, doing all those routines with people. I know they have like really crazy routines now, but that was the beginning of all that. And I remember we used to have uh, a dance group, Endless Dreams with a Z. And we had cardigans and all that other stuff. But I remember learning, trying to learn how to do all those dances, like the RoboCop, boom, boom, and, you know, doing you know, all those things and then doing it in time. And um, it has to do with the music. There's this beat or the one, two. Actually, my mom taught me how to do, uh, uh, not swing dancing. Um, what's the one, two? One, two, what, what is that when you do the one, two? One, two, one, two. Uh, for, uh, what is that? She will show me how to dance a little bit. And and it was the beat. There was always a one, two, one, two, one, two, and all the all, all the dance moves went to that beat. And then as I practiced, and then I knew that beat, everything was good. Once I got that timing down, it was so crazy. I could do everything. Like any dance move was to that beat. It was weird. So like once you got it and you felt that, it was like, yeah. And why I say that is because that quote, what's that quote say? It says like your frequency goes through your body and it can control it. And that's, that's what that is. And if you could feel that, if you get to that point where you can feel that beat, that's kind of where I am on music right now. I can feel the rhythm. I can feel my rhythm and what feels good to me. And um, yeah, there's something to that. And I, I, don't, I don't think we've studied it enough or have been introspective about it enough because just imagine if you can be very conscious about it and control that frequency hitting your body and I think we can. So, and I think that has to do with sound healing.
That's why uh, music makes you feel good. It's kind of crude. So yeah, that's that's my quote for the day. But yeah, it's the afternoon, Friday. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna enjoy the day today. Play some music, get some stuff done, maybe clean up a little bit, stuff like that, and get prepared for this weekend. I think this weekend we have the the live show tomorrow, and then I think um, one of my friends that we we play music every once in a while. We might do a socially distance. We want to start a social social distance uh, jam, and then probably do it here at the beach. There's a cool grass area on the bluff here in Belmont Heights, and then um, just jam. So, yeah, we want to put those good frequencies out into the air. I think everybody needs it. But that's probably going to be my weekend, and um, you know, just trying to stay safe and. You know, uh, not listen to politics as much because that just drives you crazy. And I know, I, I, I think everything's going to be okay. But we're going to be going through some crazy times. So, yeah, that's my soapbox for today. But every day, keep on strumming ukulele. And I will see you on Monday. And you guys have a great weekend. Talk to you soon.